Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, we're still discussing about the ICT hazards. Uh, so far in our previous video, uh, we saw the various, uh, these, we call the, the effects of disposing the, the electronic equipment to the environment. Uh, we discussed the, uh, how the disposing the electronic equipment to the environment affected the air. So today let's see how uh, disposing these e equipments affects the soil. Now, how does EUST contaminate soil? The soil can be contaminated in two primary ways from the EUST. The first one is through the direct contact with the contaminants from the EUST or the byproducts of the EUST, recycling or the disposal, or the second way is indirectly through the irrigation from the contaminated water that has been contaminated with these EUST. Now, when EUST is improperly disposed in regular landfills, here landfills, we are talking about those uh, disposing sites or illeg illegally dumped. Uh, most, uh, I mean, both heavy metals, here we're talking about the lead, arsenic, uh, uh, cadmium, uh, and others, and the flame retardants in the EUST, they can leach directly uh, from the U.S. into the soil, causing the contamination of underlying groundwater or the contaminating crops that may be planted in that soil now and the, or just yes, or in the future. Now, when the U.S. is not recycled properly, as is in the, the, the case in areas of the world where recycling practices for U.S. are not regulated or are informally monitored, uh, the soil can become directly contaminated by the following. The first one that the influent or waste products are from leaching practices, uh, which extract the precious metals and other valuable materials from the U.S. Uh, the second way that it, the cause particles and the bottom ash generated from dismantling, shredding, or burning of the U.S. And the, the third one is that leaching of the heavy metals not to recover the uh, during the recycling into underlying soil during the disposal. Now from there, the practices used to extract the precious, uh, I mean the previous uh, metals are from the US such as the mercury uh, amalgamation or cyanide leaching can release the additional toxic substances uh, to the soil. Dismantling can also release the large cause particles into the air which due to their size and weight quickly redeposit to the ground and they subsequently contaminate the soil. So the contaminated soil can be very uh, unhealthy to all the living things. You are talking about all the plants and the animals. Now let's see how does the ecosystems impacted through the U.S. soil. Uh, fundamentally, the heavy metals are from the improper U.S. disposal and the incomplete recycling activities. Uh, here are talking about the also the PBDs. Uh, from the burning, shredding, and dismantling, dioxins are uh, here to all slash these plants uh, from incomplete burning, and the acidification are from the recycling practices, uh, which involve the leaching, change the composition of the soil in unpredictable and complex ways. Now, these changes they can be very harmful uh, to microorganisms in the soil and plants, as well as animals and wildlife that rely on these plants for survival. The plants often suffer from the damaged cell structure, altered metabolism, and the reduced growth in the contaminated soils. In addition, uh, some plant species, they can be doubly impacted by U.S. through the contamination of the underlying soil and through the direct contact with the contaminants. And the uh, lead, for example, can coat the surface of the leaves, uh, reducing the rate of the photosynthesis within a plant and causing the damage or death of the plant. So that's how the uh the US can affect the 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 ecosystem, specifically when we're talking about the plant species. Now, exposure to the contaminated plants or vegetation, they can create uh compounding exposures to heavy metals, example the lead arsenic and the uh, this cadmium, uh, dioxins, plants, uh PBDs and the other potent pollutants. Animals are not only inhaling contaminated air, but also con consuming plants contaminated by the underlying soil. Now, since many of these uh, pollutants by accumulate up the food chain, the larger the animal, the more the impact. 
which can cause the complex and disturbing disruptions to the biodiversity and ecosystem balance in the contaminated areas. Now let's see how does the U.S. impact human beings on the soil. Human humans are doubly impacted by contaminated soil. They are consuming the crops grown in the contaminated soil and eating the eggs, meat, fish, where the toxic substances uh, have the bioaccumulated or increased in concentration up in the food chain. Now, for the children, these effects are further compounded uh, because the children are more likely to find the contaminated soil and ingest contaminated soil through poor hygiene or inadequate hand washing practices. So that's simply how the U.S. impacts uh, the human beings uh, on the soil. So that's all I have for this session. I hope that's all clear of discussing the, uh, the impact of the U.S. Uh, the environment, specifically how it affects the soil and the, how it can have various impacts to the ecosystems, to human beings, uh, the, uh, the other areas or places, etc., etc. I hope that's all clear and thank you.